Now, in the immediate days following the shooting here in Parkland, state lawmakers and Governor Rick Scott began to review the laws to push for changes to make our children safer. Our investigative reporter, Terry Parker, joins me now with a look at what's already been accomplished. Terry? These changes, Todd, coming both at the state and the federal level, but what most affects us and our children are the new Florida laws trying to ensure school safety. Some of the biggest changes in Florida law and policy after the Parkland shootings have taken place in schools themselves. Prior to MSD, it was student achievement, and now it is safety and security. All schools must now have at least one armed law enforcement officer patrolling campuses. The Fortify FL app was also introduced, which allows any user to anonymously report a threat or suspicious behavior directly to law enforcement. One other priority in the wake of the Parkland tragedy, improving safety and security in schools by prioritizing mental health. Students in sixth grade through their senior year are now required to receive at least five hours of mental health related lessons every school year. So this is a really good thing for students to understand, you know, issues that may, they may be having and how to really turn to and get help. Gun control laws have also changed. No longer can 18 year olds buy guns. You have to be 21 unless you are a law enforcement officer or in the military. And shortly after the Parkland school shooting, Florida lawmakers passed a red flag law. The law gives law enforcement the ability to take someone's guns away if they indicate they may harm themselves or others. If this law had been in place before the 2018 tragedy, police could have seized Nicholas Cruz's large collection of guns after he made threats to harm people at his school. So gun buyers must undergo a background check and the gun shop owner who sold Cruz his gun testified that Cruz passed that. But he said even though there was a question asking about Cruz's previous mental health problems, Cruz did not disclose his history. And other than that question on the background check, there are no other mental health checks to buy a gun in Florida. Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News.